Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sunday, some more Do Re Mi where things are just getting fired up. We're in Fire Peak World. World. Oh, another auto scroller. There's cave people in this one. Free pants to start, which is very nice. Dude, this world is interesting. It at least has a little bit more challenge. These auto scrollers are kind of wild. I'm trying to hang back a little bit. The platforms and learning the mechanics of said platforms is definitely something that will take some getting used to. Whoa. Just these ones? These ones that slowly dip. Okay. Slowly dip into the ground. Probably need to give myself a little bit more of a an on ramp. But it does help to kind of just wait. Oof. Something I'm not good at doing. Just being, being patient. Oh, come on. Mm, game. You gotta wait for the platforms to have a little bit of poo-poo on the top. That's how you know that those are the ones that are safe to land on. They won't hurt you. They won't dip into the ground. The only thing that's getting hurt right now is just my feelings. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, there's that. Yeah, this, this world, it seems like they, uh, a little more challenging, a little more of a challenge. But we are getting near the end of the game. I'm not, I don't know how much of this game is left, to be honest. This game is very strange. But I am going to be sad when it's gone, when it's over. I've enjoyed it up to this point. I think it's... Very charming and whimsical and weird. Kind of has that uh, 90s cartoon kind of vibe to it. Oop, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's wait for a fresh one. Oof, okay, so that definitely went better that time around. Not so much goofing around. All right. Oof, there's so many spaghetti and meatballs. I remember when I was a kid growing up with no dollars one of my favorite things to eat not like regularly because it's probably horrible for your health my favorite things to eat though as a kid uh, was SpaghettiOs big fan of those especially with the dog food meatballs mm -mm -mm. remember the commercials with the creepy giant SpaghettiO that was like hey kids put me in your mouth I'm going I'm gonna let you eat me not cool the thing of nightmares all right Oof. Yeah, I don't know if these hitboxes are as close as I'm making them appear, but they feel close. Oh, boy. We're doing fine. Hopefully, you're all doing fine, viewers. We're winding down. It's almost the end of the summer. Oops. We fell into the marinara. Ooh, there's free pants, though. That's good. Yeah, we've, uh... Oop, I should have waited. Oh. Oh, man. You just never know what's going to come get you. But I will say, though, I do really like kind of the ominous... It's just... <laughs> Which way do we go? The ominous... Music in the background. It's not... It's kind of more of a soundscape, almost. But yeah, hopefully you're all doing well, viewers. Almost the end of summertime? What is this? Okay. <laughs> well, let's, uh... Yeah, let's stand on it. And get crushed. Oh, there was the... The gold music star right after that, so that was smart. The game's like, I bet uh, nobody would be stupid enough to stand under this. The only downside though is we have to be careful. We don't have any pants right now, so... We need to... we, we... Oh no! Well, you know what? What's a Super Nintendo Sundays of Do Re mean without a couple game overs, huh? What do you say, viewers? We're back at it. We're having a great time. If you are having a great time, liking the video always helps it. Subscribing if you haven't. Let's see those numbers keep going. We've got some big new things coming up in the not too distant future. That's something to be excited about. Do Re Mi though is on its way out. And like I mentioned before, I think I'm probably going to stick to this, is Do Re Mi will, once it's completed, hit the archive. Oh man, that's a really tough jump. It'll hit the Super Nintendo 
Sunday's archives with all the other wonderful games we've done so far, and it will be replaced by Zelda. Now, not really being replaced by Link to the Past, because it's already, it's already, you know, being played, but it, along with Yoshi's Island, will slowly be, slowly be replaced by a Link to the Past. That's going to be kind of the, the front runner for a while. That's a bit of a longer game, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that, but I think a Link to the Past is fun. Hopefully you're all enjoying it. Hopefully you can give it a little bit more support. I would always really appreciate that. It's going to be a fun game that we can kind of dig into. I haven't played a Zelda romp since Link's Awakening, which was a lot of fun. I do think about that game all the time, and I go back and watch those videos. If you have a chance, do that. Go back and watch some of the earlier titles and see what you think. See if you're still vibing with what I'm putting out, if you're still smelling what I'm stepping in, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, boy. I think this is pants right here. Whew. Okay, safety pants. Do the safety dance in your safety pants. All right. Oh, I bet that was about to pop up right then, wasn't You know what? You know what, game? You know what? At least we know which way to go. It's one of the nice things about this game is not... I mean, I guess Yoshi's Island sort of does... Ooh, that was close. Yoshi's Island sort of does this, but this game is more linear than that. There are a few of the exploration levels, which I think is fun. You know, the adventuring and exploring. But... Get over there. Ooh. Okay. So I think we only need to grab that once. We just have to finish the level now, somehow. But yeah. This game is more straightforward, which is nice because sometimes when I'm, you know, recording these episodes, it can be a little taxing if I have to... Because this is all blind. I've never played this before. Um, I don't pre-play anything, like I mentioned. So, going through these games and having to kind of figure it out and spend a lot of time on that is not super enjoyable. I don't want to do a ton of editing and ruin the continuity for you guys. I'm trying to keep it consistent. Consist, you know? For a nice cash sesh. Oh, that's not space. Oh, no. That was kind of cheap. All right, but we get free pants. I don't know if this platform is a trap or not. Okay, it looks safe. And all these ones, as you can see, they have the uh, garbage on the top, the rubble, so that's how you know that they're safe to walk on. Is this the end? No, oh, okay. Well, note to self. AB, ABB, always be bubbling, oh my goodness. Oh, we gotta hurry. Keep doing it too, I don't wanna run into any sneaky cavemen. That would probably be really confusing to people. So what went wrong today? Well, I ran into some sneaky cavemen, okay? I'm not happy about it, oh boy. Oh no. Whew. Yeah. The kid gloves are off. Gloves? Kid gloves are off. The adult gloves are on. Ooh, 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 ooh. This feels like a, uh... Ooh, I forget what these do. This makes the bubble shoot further. Oh, please. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of timing is that? I don't think you can even stop those either. You almost just want to have double pants in that spot. I think if you run, when you hold down the whatever button run is, the run button, use the run button. If you hold down the run button, I think it does give you a little bit more distance when you jump. When you jump, jump. All right, that looks sick. Ooh. Ooh. This is why I like to record live, because my reactions are real, just like Santa. Okay. Yeah, I like to, I'm actually enjoying these levels a little bit more. Some of the ones earlier, like the water world, I don't remember which one that was, like two worlds ago. I didn't really care for that one too much. That one kind of got on my nerve and nerves. But this one's fun. I like this one. It's challenging, challenging. It's a challenge. But there's plenty of treasure. Many opportunities for pants. Come on, come out of here. Oh, come on. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so now we're up to green. Makes me feel a lot better. We're still on the still on the first level here. So we gotta get a move on. 
these episodes are still meant to be short. Same with A Link to the Past, when that eventually takes over as the front runner for Super Nintendo Sundays. That one is... I'm trying to do it in manageable chunks. Now, obviously, that's going to change as things go on. I'm trying to keep these episodes shorter, more digestible for your Sunday afternoon, for your brunch, while you're having your mimosas or getting back from worshiping whoever you want. It's a nice little way to relax. Okay. So we got to power through this obstacle course real quick, which I think would be nice if any of these were musical notes. They are not. But as you can see, oops, a little bit too early. Would have made it if I would have just waited half a second more, but we're done. Okay. I don't know how many more levels there are until the boss, but based on the timing of this one, this might be the last one we do for the day. Ooh, we're back to overworld music. Do we have to climb? How do I climb? There we go. The... Ooh, the Firebird. Don't like those. The recording sessions that I do... Oh, you know, you know what? Are sometimes few and far between because of the switching of games. So because I switch games, which will become easier once it's just one game, but because I was rotating between three at a time, that would... Because I only record typically maybe one episode of each at a time. So trying to remember how to play some of these games, it's a bit of a doozy. I don't think I can get up there on my own. This looks like a good opportunity. For pants maybe, or music? No? Okay, great. Game is being real stingy right now. And that's apparently a cliff that's a little bit too high. I think these are the birds that spit fire. I don't care for them. I don't like them. Now, was there anything over here? Yes, there is, but I don't know how to get to it. This level seems like it's a lot of, uh... I was just talking about this, too. This seems like, oop. Can you, come on, Sonic. Off-brand Sonic. Can, I... Can you climb down? Is climbing down an option? No. That was probably like a million billion points slash music notes, and we're never gonna, ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, excuse you, Captain Cave people. Alright, so... I'm gonna be quick here. It looks like that kind of stops it for a half second, so it does give you a little bit of a breather. But having to wait for these music notes to replenish. Ugh! Climb! Whoa, excuse you. Climb! Climb what? I don't understand. Climb what? Is that not what I'm doing? Is there... Oh, oh, it's like a curtain. Uh, how are you supposed to know that? I mean, like, I guess it tells you, but... How are you supposed to actually know that? And some of these, it's not really clear that that's what they're going for. Is it this thing you can climb? Okay, so these are like the curtains from the... Ooh, that's, that's a trap. Okay. These are the curtains from the music world, if you remember that. Not super generous, though, in this level. How do I... Okay, there we go. He's triggered. Oof, okay. Nope. Get out of here. Hedgy boy. Alright, so can this be... Okay. <laughs> like, I like this level. It's it's interesting. Oh, there's the... The bubble, which is nice. But, yeah, I don't... It doesn't really give you an opportunity to replenish your pants. And there's only one opportunity for pants. And the hitbox of these stones is a little wonky. But we're doing okay. I think. Not sure how... Oh, there's the pants. Not sure how well we're doing mentally, but physically we're doing okay. Alright. So just... ABB always be blowing. ABB? 
A, B, B, B? Always be blowing bubbles? Holy smokes. Whoa. That's not a mechanic that the game tells you about. Uh, is that gonna come back? Ah. Oh, you can jump on that. Ooh. I like how there, there's a lot of this game. And maybe this is just, you know, how games are in general. I'm just a dummy. But I like how a lot of this game is just kind of like, it's not really clear what you're supposed to do. You just kind of do it. Figure it out on your own, I suppose. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, like, some games, especially modern ones, they really hold your hand. Which can be a little boring after a while. I remember I was thinking back to... What was it? Pokemon or something? Like a recent... Oh! Invincibility, let's take advantage. Take advantage of it! This is how far into the level it is before they give you the... Ooh, that's a thing down there. I was thinking about recent Pokemon games and how back in my day, you had to pick yourself up by your... Oh, you know what? Pick yourself up by your Pokemon bootstraps and figure it out. How do I get down there? How do we... Ooh. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have enough distance to get up there. So that was dumb. That was a trait. I don't know if... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oof. I don't like that, but yeah. Like, the, um... The most recent Switch one, Sword and Shield, I remember... Oof, those really held your hand. And to an extent, I get it, because the audience of Pokémon is expanding, and over time you obviously want to take into... Whoa! Take into account that your user base is getting younger. Okay, I think that's all the golden stars for this world. Man, that face is creepy. And I still don't know if it changes based on what color your pants are. I think it does. That'd be an easy palette swap, wouldn't it? And that's it! Okay. So next time, I think we'll learn about what the musical instrument is. Then we will do, I think there's one final level before the boss. We will take on what appears to be a, an overcooked well done, son. And we'll move on to, I think there's one more world after this one. So that'll be fun. All right, so thanks for joining me, everybody. I've been d -Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.